I'll be showing you step by step how to set up automatic restock alerts so you can get customers back to your store and buying quickly. So the way we're going to add these in is to use a Shopify app. This one's called Stock here and it makes it super easy to set this up and has a decently generous free plan as well where you're going to get 30 emails per month with unlimited registrations and automatic restock alerts. So you can find this on the Shopify app store. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. But once you're on this page, let's click install here. Let's begin the installation sequence. So it's going to ask me to install the app. Click install. This brings me directly to the app setup. So I'm going to click getting started. I'm going to deselect pre-orders here as we're just looking to set up back in stock alerts. So I'll click continue. And now to go and do this, I need to enable the theme embed here. So I'm going to click the enable app embed. I'm going to select the free plan as that's what I'm looking to do here. I'm just going to remove this alert on top. So let's go and set this up step by step. First, I'm just going to confirm by opening up the online store tab. So I want to go into themes and just make sure the app embed is enabled. So on the themes page, I'll click customize next. And then on the left hand side menu, I'll click app embeds and I can see it's been automatically enabled which is nice. We don't have to open it up manually. So let's head back to the previous tab here and let's go and customize our alert. So under the menu, I'm going to go to back in stock alerts. It's going to ask us to do a quick tour. So settings, the widget, pages, and the notifications, as well as the automatic alerts, as well as further integrations. So first up, let's make sure it's enabled. We can see we can collect registrations. We can customize the button. And so if we click on that, it gives us different button styles. And let's let you customize it to the branding of your Shopify store. You can do so by easily just clicking into the specific elements here and customizing the text as well as the color. I think that matches my store here. So I'm just gonna leave this as is. Now to note, if you want the button position changed on the product page, you can contact the theme here. This is most likely due to how many different themes have different arrangements for the code so that you might need some help with the team there. Next step, if we click to the sign up form, this is what's going to pop up when a customer clicks that back in stock button. If we click on channels, we have email alerts on. And since we're just on the free plan, we don't have SMS alerts. Now to note, we don't get any more customization here on the name or the mailing list as that's part of the paid plan. But for the form content, we can go and customize any of this text. Like I just say for the header, notify me went back in stock. And I'll just leave the rest as is for now. I can hit save in the top right to finalize the customization of that. You can see it's now been updated. So I'm gonna exit this here. I'm gonna minimize this support button. And I can see our widget has been customized now. And we can see where it's enabled. So right now it's just on the product page. But we can go and add it to the home page or search pages if we wanted to. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it on the product page. We'll go to the top here. We can see the sign up widget, which is what we were just on. Let's head to notifications. So we can see it's gonna automatically send a notification email. You can see the timeline here. So when it's restocked, it's gonna send an automatic notification. It also has reminders here for wait one day and wait a second day. And you can turn these off if you would like and just send the one email here. We can customize this by clicking the customize email button. And we cut customizations on the text, the heading, the footer. And we can see it's going to automatically insert the product photo here, which is nice, and the product title in the email subject line. And we can go and upload a logo. And I'll just leave all of these as is for now because I don't want to bog this video down in just customization of the email. Lastly, there's integrations here. So on the paid plans, you can increase the number of integrations. So if you're using MailChimp or OmniSend or Clavio, you can integrate the emails into there. So let's head over to online store. I'm going to click on view your online store and let's see where this shows up. So if I click into a product here, we can see it's in stock. So I'm not going to see that notification. So let's head back to my store. I'm going to head over to products, open up a new tab. I'm going to click on this product here as there's nothing in stock and I'll go and preview it here. And I can see the button on the right, notify me when available. And if I click into this, I can see the pop-up I created to help notify me if this is back in stock. So overall, you can see that's working correctly. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. You have your cost of goods sold, ad spend, transaction fees, and so many other costs that make it hard to discover your store's true profit. And that's where a sponsor, Profit Calc, comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, aggregating all your metrics in one place, so you can start making smarter business decisions as you'll have a great understanding of how your store is actually performing. Everything is super easy to read in the dashboard, and there are many other reports available as well. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself and you can find it on the Shopify app store 
by searching for profit calc and just looking for this logo in the top left. I'll also leave a link in the description below. Again, there's a 15 day free trial where you can test drive everything so you can get a true understanding of your store's profit performance. In conclusion, it was a super easy app to set up it does have a fairly generous free plan here that makes it super easy to send automated restock alerts to customers who have subscribed. If this video helped, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.